hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am going to uh, prepare one lab of uh, SCCM. And for preparing that lab, we need three servers, actually two servers and one Windows 10 machine, that is end user machine. Uh, we need one server for AD, DSCP and DNS. And the second server we require for uh, our SSM server. And the third one is uh, for testing purpose, we have to prepare one uh, SSM client uh, with Windows 10 so that we can do all the testing on that machine. And other than that, we require some software as well, like uh, ISO image of uh, SQL Server, uh, sorry, Windows Server 2016, uh, that is standard version. Then we require uh, SQL Server as well, 2017. And uh, in this uh, lab, I'm going to implement System Center Configuration Manager 1902 current branch version that setup also required which we can download from the uh, Microsoft site and uh, last one is our ISO image, image that is Windows 10 ISO image so after downloading and preparing this uh, infra uh, right now I have configured this three ser uh, two servers AD server and SCCM server and one Windows 10 client so first, first step is to just prepare that AD server uh, with the required roles and features that is uh, first is your uh, AD uh, domain controller and then uh, we require to um, uh, install that uh, DSCP and then DNS. So let's uh, go to our AD server first. Yeah, this is our AD server. So for installing this server, we need to go to the server manager, go ahead and add roles and features. Click next. This is our server. From here, we have to select Active Directory Domain Server, add features. Then we need to install our DSCP and third one is our DNS server. So on one server, we can install all these features. After that, we just need to click next. Here we don't require anything. Just click on next, 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 and click next, and install. So it will take uh, around uh, five to ten minutes to complete this installation. Okay, so let's check that if uh, uh, required roles has installed or not. Yes, it's uh, completed successfully as we can see that uh, configuration required, installation succeeded on the server. Okay, uh, we have to just click next, uh, close. And then we have to come here and we have to just click here, promote this server to a domain controller. So because it's a new server or uh, we are doing the first server like, so we can say it's, a, uh, it's our forest. So root domain name is, uh, we can say, you can give any name, uh, it's uh, up to us like, uh, whatever we required or according to the uh, for example if we are doing it for any company then uh, we can give that uh, naming convention according to that company 
but in this case because it's uh, my server so we, I can give uh, any name here uh, KPS typical left dot com let's uh, say locally I'm going to create it click next uh, one to two minutes yep. so we have to just select the first two option that is our DNS server and the global catalog After this. so here we have to uh, add one password as well uh, and we need to remember this password as well because it's uh, for restoring this directory services so in future uh, we may require this password this admin password click next this is not required it should automatically pick up our net file domain name It is automatically picked up. TPS Technical Lab. Click Next. We don't need to do any changes here for database creation. So it's currently uh, verifying the prerequisites for domain controller operation. So now it's uh, just implementing these changes in the environment. Yeah. So we can start this installation. These are just warnings. You can ignore this warning. If any error is coming, then we have to. Uh, check that error why that error is coming but if any warning is coming we can just read and uh, we can just ignore that error uh, sorry warning and then after completing once this uh, installation completed after then we can finish it, finish this task So you can see that uh, you can see here the progress. It's creating the directory, setting the DNS name of the computer, and all the, the registry settings it's doing right now. Okay, so it required a restart. Let's click close. So uh, this is my uh, first part in creating the lab. In the second uh, part, uh, I'll take up the next part of the configuration and stay tuned uh, for the second part. <coughs> I'll uh, <coughs> share soon this uh, second part as well for SCCM lab. Thank you. Thank you for watching uh, this video. Uh, please like, share and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.